Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today we're going to show you to do is how to change the brake pads on this X18. Um, this is the X18 uh, R with the 200 cc engine in it, but it doesn't matter if it's the 50 cc or the the, the 200 cc. Don't mind this one; the rotor is gone. Uh, apparently, parts stole my rotor. Uh, but I can still go ahead and show you how to change the pads. We're actually going to take the caliper off to do that, and then we'll pop the little clip out of there and we'll. Uh, We'll get started and we'll take the pads out. So I'm just going to get my camera positioned, grab some tools, and let's get started. Okay, we're down on the left-hand side here. So first, we're going to have to take off our caliper there. I think pretty well it's a number six Allen key. It is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wrench here for a little extra leverage. And don't, like I said, don't mind if this one doesn't have a rotor. It's uh, really not going to make a difference for changing the brake pads. So first we're gonna remove the caliper. There we are. And now we have our brake pads. Our brake pads, somebody's, uh, since the, cal or the rotor's been off, you'll notice somebody's still been um, hitting the brakes here on us. So we're just gonna get a screwdriver in there. We're just gonna pry it apart. I wanna pry it slow so that I don't damage the pads. I'm gonna be changing the pads, but I still don't wanna damage them because these ones aren't, there's nothing wrong with them. They're gonna go right back on. So all you have to do is force that back like that, okay. And then there's two Allen keys, one here and one here, and they're gonna have to be removed. So they should be a number four, I believe. There we go. And these are usually pretty tight. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and remove those. I'm just gonna leave it sticking up there for now. Come here. And we can go ahead and pull each pin out. And just keep a little pressure on the brake pads when you do that so we can pull them out. And then the pads come out just like that. And you just leave that little clip in there. You don't need to let it come out. Just leave it uh, sit in there. And then we have our brake pads. So now when you get your new brake pads, they're gonna look just like this. When they come to you, all you're gonna do is the same way we took them out. We're gonna put in the back one first, and we're just gonna push it in like that. And then we're gonna get the next one, and it goes in the front on the little two tabs. And we're gonna push them in like that, and then we can hold it with our thumb. And we can go ahead and put that pin in. Like that. And we'll screw it in just a tiny bit. Just to make sure that it's holding the other, both of them in. Perfect. And then we can get the other pin, put it in. And like I said, the more you push down on this, the more it'll make sure it's in place. And then we can go ahead and tighten it up. Now our pads are back in. go and you'll notice that there's a nice big gap here now because I already pushed the pistons in with my screwdriver so that gap now would fit right over the rotor so the rotor that would be right here the round rotor part this would just slip in over the top of the rotor like that and then we could go ahead and put our bolts back in Don't tighten it too tight. Just go ahead and put it in finger tight until you can put this one in. Perfect, just like that. 
and we just tighten those up and then snug them up good so that they don't come out give it a quick snug like that and like that and that is it and that is how you change the brake pads on an x18 or an x18r either one same thing so that's it guys like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video